Hi everyone, last week Articulate made it possible for you to include your storyline slides into your Rise projects, which is pretty cool. Uh, just gives Rise a little bit more functionality and a nice blend between the two suites now. So I was going to show you how to uh, how to do that, how to build a storyline slide and then include it into Rise. So here I am in Storyline and I want my Storyline slide when it's included into Rise to play or to basically start like a video. So I have this little shape so when the user clicks on it it will play. I'll just preview it. So this is in Storyline again. So this is kind of how I want it to appear in Rise. So they click on here and it Congrats starts. on making it through the general. And you might not be able to hear the audio, but it's it's, it's your traditional e-learning slide with audio with some you know text flying in. So a few things I just want to highlight. Again, I when this is imported into Rise, I want it to play like a video. So I have a few triggers. So the first one is to pause the timeline, and I'll open this up basically right when it starts. Because if I don't do this, the slide will automatically play when it's into Rise, which I don't want. So I'm going to basically have it uh, pause when it hits 0 0.10 seconds. Another related trigger is to resume the timeline, as you may have guessed, when the user clicks on this basically play button. So that's the trigger stuff. Uh, formatting the play button, this is just basically a shape uh, right here, and then I have a little hover. If go down to states, a little hover on this little guy. So if you want to get fancy, you can do that as far as the formatting goes. Player properties. This is pretty important if you want it to be, you know, when you import it in, when you import it into Rise, if you want it to look pretty clean. Uh, essentially, under player tabs, you want to turn off the menu. Make sure you don't have any tabs or anything like that. Select OK, and you can kind of see in this preview, it looks pretty clean. Select OK. Bottom right under the gear icon, make uh, make sure you turn off your previous and next buttons. We've done that, and I think we are ready to publish this. So we'll go up to Publish. And for you, it might say Create New Item, if it's the first time you did it, you, you've done it. I did a little practicing here, so it says publish new version of existing item. So I'll select publish. Close this. We'll go into rise now. So this is sort of fictional ladder safety. I'll put it. Uh, that storyline slide in the introduction. I'll select add content and this, the storyline stuff is, uh, it goes through a block. So select blocks. You have to scroll down, click this little plus guy, scroll down. No, it's actually interactive right there. Now you scroll down. Select storyline. So we published it to Articulate 360. Let's just go browse for it. There it is right there. I'll select it. And there it is. It's in Rise. It kind of looks like a, a Rise video file. When I click this button, my storyline slide plays. And that's how you, you know, insert a pretty traditional e-learning slide into Articulate Rise.